And welcome back. So last time we went through the Gerudo's fortress and just uh, got accepted as a Gerudo and now we're going to go through the Haunted Wasteland. Um, there is a cheaper, lazier way than just using the long shot here. To, I'll just do it because I'm lazy, but... Hmm. So... As long as you're wearing the hover boots, you won't sink into the river of sand. I personally think it's a neat little trick, but... I have no idea how I found that out as a kid. Oh gosh, this is harder to do at night than the day, isn't it? Oh well. Jeez. Lovely music there, isn't it? Or lack thereof. Well, did not mean to click that. No, not that. There we go. Hey, computers started to weird out on me for a second there. Sorry about that. Oh. Okay. There it is. It's interesting how Gerda Valley is a stage for the new Smash Bros. game, just saying, um, I mean, I've seen it, it's gonna be interesting, um, the reason it's interesting is it's on the 3DS version of Smash Bros. and that's just not a technicality because Ocarina of Time was only on consoles pretty much until the 3DS version of Ocarina of Time 3D and in a way that is just very funny and I would actually be surprised if Gerda Valley ended up being in full version of Super Smash Bros. And Super Smash Bros. is one of those games that's going to be very interesting. Um, personally, I'll probably end up getting the 3DS version first, assuming they both come out at the same time, I don't know, um, can't imagine them coming out differently, watch as that's not by train ass, but, um, With the new ones, see, quite frankly, the villagers, the funniest in my opinion, of the new fighters, just last year around E3, there were so many interesting internet memes associated with just the villager, and I don't know, he is not someone you would particularly think of that would be in the Super Smash Bros. game, and then... He's just going to end up being the most used or broken character. Ugh. See, Little Mac was also recent. Let me compare, and I think he's the most recent confirmed character. I'd have to look. I don't know. I haven't checked the site in a while, but... Little Mac would be interesting to play as. Um, I'm personally disappointed that his... Final Smash has nothing to do with Doc Brown stole my bike. Personally, love that meme of Nigger Slayer stole my bike. And, come on, a lot of YouTube crap is hilarious as all oh, heavens. So this is the second to last Great Fairy Fountain we actually need to go to in the game. I don't even use the item here much anymore, but I don't know. It's helpful, especially against Iron Knuckles if you're not. Too great at combat. Um, essentially, she gives you a spell that makes you just invincible for a nice chunk of time. 
I will give you a magic spell. Please take it. Ugh. You know, I remember back before the internet, the first time I tried 100 percenting this game, one of my friends had told me that one of the hard pieces of the game was from oh, these levers and... Like, I'll show you, maybe. There's a purple one that just pops up and... Like when you start killing a bunch of greens, and if you kill the purple one in the desert, you just get a heart piece, but... Little kids. No internet. Boy, how times have changed. I'll point out something about Spirit Temple in a second. Let's go ahead and get this obligation over with. I'm being nagged at. So, I'll just find pots. So, if you can't tell, there isn't really nothing we can do at this point. So, that was fun. Nothing here for us to do. Just head on out. Past, present, future. The Master Sword is a ship with which you can sail upstream and downstream through the Times River. A port for that ship is in the Temple of Time. Destroy the Desert Colossus and enter the Spirit Temple. You must travel back through time's flow. Listen to this Requiem Spirit. This melody will lead a child back to the desert. So this dungeon is unique in that you go through half of it as Kid Link and half of it as Adult Link. Yeah. Okay, let's point out what's interesting about Spirit Temple. I can't fully point this out until we get the map for it, but... So the entrance is supposed to be... Or the temple is outside, it's supposed to be a giant woman, right? Where's the entrance? What's it supposed to look like? Nintendo, this is a kid's game, come on. I know that this is going to go above most of the target audience's head, but if you think about it, it's like, oh good heavens. And then it gets worse because I'll show you once we get the map, but like the first floor you enter through is exactly the same as the reproduction system of a woman, and it's like, oh good gosh. That is literally supposed to be a... Yeah, it's a reference to that, guys. Gotta love Nintendo. Oh well. I'm pretty sure I just ruined a bunch of childhoods, but... What can you do? Do 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 So, technically I think it is possible to get back to the Gerudo Fortress as Kid Link if you navigate back through the desert just right, but... I have no idea how that would go, I swear I'm being nagged at. And audio's gonna cut here for a second, um... hold on.